Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Someone is not doing anything as usual. He's sitting, Hi, he's sitting on her board as usual. Talking on the phone as usual. But we get to people who get Dodge pickup trucks. They're a pain in the work world to work on. They are very, very pain. Because this one saying that we got to take transmission and the piece that we took off wasn't really supposed to be taken apart. We got to drain the oil out of it, stick it up on its nose, and put it back in there and it's got to go in there in stages. So that's going to be a pain. I might try to get that film too of us doing that. Um, so anybody who gets a Dodge, they're terrible to work on. Terrible. Terrible. No, they're not fun to work on. They're terrible. Because you can't, you can hardly do anything, you know, change anything on them. I mean, they're, it's just the motor's so far back into it. It's unbelievable. And uh, the one, the one I had to work on, I had to change the uh, fan on this. Well. Instead of taking you know, this, this stuff off right here, I just cut from here to here and just cut it off and then you can just pull it apart after you take the, there's two side screws and there's two more side screws and then there's other screws that's onto the frame itself. And then I did undo this and move this out of the way a little bit so I could still kind of move this a little bit out, you know, move it around. But then you know, I got the fan replaced on the other one I worked on, it was a same model as this one, I think, or a little bit more different, and it was a 1500, it was silver though, and the AC wasn't working right, and after I fixed it, AC started working really good, and it's just, I don't under, I would not get a Dodge, because there's so much stuff in them now, and if you don't know how to work on them, don't work on them a bad idea if you don't know how to work on vehicles. I know how to work on them to a certain point, but if it comes to taking the motor apart, I have to look at the book a little bit more about it. <laughs> but it, it, it's... We got it in. We got the transmission up there. I've been looking at the book because the transmission is not setting fully up where it needs to be. And it's the... But like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment on my videos if you need any help with anything. I try to do. I will try to help you as, as much as I possibly can. On vehicle work and other stuff. <laughs> but I had to work on my van and got the. We had to replace the window on my van and we replaced it and it worked pretty good. And then now I got a misfire and I got a. Work at, look at that now, trying to figure out why it's got a misfire on cylinder, was it five or four now? Uh, I gotta look at the code, or the code again, it just popped it back up again. But we will be working on that too, probably. Uh, well, I might as well just do that right now, since I got nothing else to do. And show you my, uh, 
code here. And that's the horse if you heard that. His name is Bullet. Uh, yes, my vehicle is a mess. I'm hoping to get my truck fixed over there and it will be able to be driven to the farm back and forth you know, to the farm because right now I'm driving the van back and forth to the farm and it's not really a farm vehicle but it's the only thing I got right now running until I get my uh, truck running and let's see what kind of code is popping up here The link is in process. It is cylinder 5 misfire detected PO305. And that is it. I guess I need to probably <coughs> look at it and find out if there is a oil on the Spark plug or not, if there is, and that's a problem. But hopefully there's not no oil on the spark plug. But if there is, uh, that's going to be another mess and a half. Because I can't really afford to tear this motor down again. There's only a running vehicle I've got. I'm not able to really work on my truck yet like I want to. I want to get it finished and get it running so I can drive it back and forth to the farm. But since we've been so busy and it's just been crazy around here and then I got a, my two lawn mowers. I've got two lawn mowers I got to work on and get them up and running. And I'm, I probably might, it depends on however many likes I get or scribes, I might do a giveaway and I will probably give one of these lawnmowers away in the area around uh, the area I live. You know, because I know some people might need a push mower or something, you know. And I will give one of them away. Uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else right now. Uh, but like my channel, subscribe, comment. Turn notifications on. I will try to do more videos and uh, hopefully we get my channel growing. Have a good evening. Alright, welcome back, welcome back. We just now, or I, just got the transmission down. And what I was talking about, it's not in there, right? Is this piece. This piece is not setting in there right. It looks like it is now. Well, I don't think it is yet. They recommend us to put it on its, to have it setting up straight up and, you know, put this in there right. That's why I do not want to dodge for either and then how the, the motor is setting in there so far back. But, it is now down on the ground, and so, yeah, I would not get a dodge. Howdy, 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 welcome back to my channel. I got a problem, Solenoid 5 down here. I checked the uh, spark plug. Well, the spark plug's got oil on it, so that's not a very good sign. Uh, it's one thing after another. Gotta fix this, plus gotta fix my other truck. Then we got another vehicle to fix. Then we gotta get caught up on the um, mowing. And then we got other lawn mowers and stuff to do. We got ourselves backed up by doing other bodies else's vehicles and work and yeah. well, I can't even get 
Both my vehicles up and running properly. <laughs> well, that's all for now. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like my channel, comment on my channel. Uh, thank you and have a good evening.